Gennady Triple G, Golovkin Mox, Canelo Alvarez for going the distance with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., a fighter he said looked terrible. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification, gang. Hit the bell icon. Now, I just watched an interview with TMZ Sports. Shout out to them. Link in the description. Golovkin was at the TMZ, TMZ studios or whatnot. He did an interview, an exclusive with them. And he talked about his upcoming fight, obviously. September 16th, it goes down. This is the fight we've been asking for as a boxing public. And, we're, and now we're getting it. They just announced yesterday T-Mobile Arena is the official home of that fight. I made a video about it. Check that out if you want more detail. And Vegas, it's a natural fit for big fights. T-Mobile Arena, brand new MGM property. So, one thing that was funny in this interview, not long, it's, it's pretty short, but Golovkin was was kind of mocking Canelo for going the distance with Julio Cesar Chavez. In his words, he says, you must stop him. Why are you going the distance, basically? I'm just paraphrasing. But he says, why are you going the distance with a guy like Julio Cesar Chavez? He looked terrible. You know what I mean? And then the TMZ host said, one thing I thought was interesting is that he was standing up in between rounds to show some kind of bravado, like, oh yeah, I got I got stamina, and I could go the distance even at the high weight, and I can go rounds and stuff like that. And Golovkin started to go in again. He says, yeah, that no, that's that's for show, that's for the girls. He was basically saying that's like, oh yeah, I have big muscles, and basically saying. He was on some machismo stuff, but that doesn't mean anything. And, and Golovkin was basically saying, if you could do all that and stand up in between rounds, why don't you show me in the next round all the power you have and all the stamina you have by getting this guy up out of there? And that's a, that's a funny point. I don't know what it is, but I think Golovkin really wanted this fight and now he's getting it but in recent memory i think golovkin kind of grew tired of waiting and i don't think he wanted to get the wbc belt that canelo did have after he beat Cotto in the fashion he did he didn't want canelo to just hand it to him you know what i mean he wanted to fight him for it but that was last year it didn't happen now the fight is happening so i don't know i think golovkin's been a, a little bit more turned up lately in terms of being more outspoken i don't know if someone told him to he's still still a likable humble dude it doesn't go like overboard or anything like that but he, he does a little bit more trash talking he's a little bit more candid at least with certain subjects like canelo he's like no you got those muscles you, you you're doing that for girls and that's not for true boxing fans i don't mean nothing basically why aren't you stopping this this guy now i would say normal like I, I see where he's coming like you know I mean, you stand up in rounds like try to take this guy out he's not doing anything but he did move up ten and a half pounds so me being a realist like I'm not fighting Canelo I'm not fighting Golovkin so I don't have anything against either guy but me being realistic I think that had probably something to do with it if he had been campaigning at 160 for a couple fights and then he was looking like he did do then he might have been able to get a knockdown or a stoppage but he still moved up 10 and a half pounds, so you have to factor that in. But all in all, I'm looking forward to this fight. They asked him, they said, hey, you sparred, and how did that go? Did you knock him out? He said, no, there was no knockout and laughed. He said, but maybe September 16th. But one thing I did notice is in this interview, he says, like, it'll be a big drama show, and basically they both want the fight, and they both want it. He, he could see it going the distance, things like that. So... The, the tone of the conversations ha seems like it's set in for Golovkin's team because Abel Sanchez, before the fight, when it looked like Canelo didn't want to fight Golovkin, when he vacated his belt around that time in 2016, when Golden Boy kept putting it off and saying, hey, we'll fight him next year. 
and next fall and all this stuff, it seemed like Team Golovkin was a lot more aggressive with their fight prediction. They were making it sound like they're going to go and bomb this dude out and knock him out. But as the fight has been signed and officially announced, I've seen him scale back and actually say something different. So it's like, oh, yeah, he can go the distance. April Sanchez did a recent interview, and he says, oh, no, Canelo has improved. We might go the distance. I can see some knockdowns, but it'll probably go the distance. But before, he was like saying it like Canelo won't even make it past the eighth round. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Maybe it's just fighter banter because Kell Brook kind of did the same thing. He he said that Errol Spence Jr., he's been hyped up and it's mid-fight and all this stuff. And he's the new Jeff Lacey, Jeff Lacey 2.0, da-da-da-da-da, yada-yada-yada. And then as the, as the fight got made and it was Brooke versus Spence, and he was fighting him, then all of a sudden those Jeff Lacey comments changed to, this could be my toughest fight, and this and that, and he has accuracy, and he was he changed everything. He changed everything he was saying. It was no longer, he's Jeff Lacey, he's saying this could be my toughest fight, he's a talented fighter, stuff like that. So maybe it's just some pre-fight banter, but I have noticed Team Golovkin, it seems like they've scaled back on their fight predictions. They're not as aggressive, it's not just like, Golovkin's going to go in there and and definitely knock him out. So they're giving Canelo some more credit. But um, I thought it was funny how Golovkin was, was talking about the Canelo situation and saying, hey, why didn't you stop this guy? He, he looked bad. He didn't do anything. And Golovkin was there, obviously, after they did the WWE type of Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin intro to announce the fight. Boom. <laughs> And they did that whole little thing and had the press conference. It seemed very WWE-ish. But let me know what you guys think of Golovkin's comments. Again, the TMZ Sports link is in the description. All I know is I can't wait till we start getting to see the training camps, the weigh-ins, the face-offs, the 24-7, all that good stuff, man. And then, of course, September 16th, it goes down. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comments section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.